A really exciting thing about space industry is that it's always really hectic and so much stuff is always going on here. It is simply impossible to concentrate only on your own narrow tasks and you may have one question, but this one question always contains a dozen of other questions, which is really motivating to improve yourself and your knowledge. My current position at Nano Avionics is Radio Frequency Licensing Coordinator. My main job is to arrange legal access to frequency spectrum. And I also cooperate with other companies and other administrations to ensure that our satellites uh, are fully functioning and our communication systems uh, could uh, transfer all the needed data from space. Currently, there are thousands of satellites flying in space, which means that they use certain frequencies. And frequency spectrum is very scarce resource. So licensing is very important to ensure that uh, every satellite could communicate uh, with Earth easily and without interference. My job requires both technical and regulatory knowledge. And from technical side, I have to uh, know everything about uh, our communication systems, their technical characteristics, also track project changes and launch changes. And from regulatory side, I have uh, to have in-depth knowledge of international and national regulations, which means navigating easily in thousand-page uh, books. <laughs> Nano satellite industry has grown a lot in just a few years. However, regulatory framework is more suited for geostationary satellites with really long project lifetimes which means that licensing process is also quite long. However, International Telecommunications Union has already proposed some changes in favor of nanosatellites and we are really looking forward to it. I still find it amazing how such small satellite could reach high uh, transmission speeds to transmit such uh, large amounts of data to Earth, like uh, videos from space because actually there are a lot of obstacles to it. Another amazing thing about nanosatellites is that they often contain deployable structures like antennas, solar sails, solar panels, and so on. For example, when I was uh, finishing my master thesis in telecommunications, I examined a really exotic case of a deployable origami antenna for a nanosatellite. During my free time, I contribute to several events like uh, Festival Kilkim Vaibo and biggest student festival in Lithuania, Physics Day. Well, also a big portion of my time goes to my dog, which is very active. So we often hike in Lithuanian forests and train together. And besides that, I'm really fascinated by an idea of a Renaissance man and I really hope that one day I will become one. I think that people should not restrict themselves just to one area or just to one hobby. And myself, I always try new things like watching YouTube video about antennas in foreign language and sewing at the same time. And I also enjoy psychological movies and books. And my recommendation would be TV series Mindhunter. Okay. Thank <laughs> you.